In this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up a free NAS server. I'm going to be running mine in VirtualBox because it's easy to record. Okay, what you want to do is when you've <coughs> before you start when you have Windows and you gotta download the image from the freenas.org site, burn it to a disk, the ISO to a disk with Neuro or some other image burning program, and then restart your computer and make sure your boot from disk is set up so it doesn't boot from your hard drive on your server because when you install this it will wipe the entire drive You want to go one, just take a couple of seconds to boot up. I just pressed enter so I can see what it's doing. almost done. There you go. First thing you want to get to do want to do is press nine to install update to a hard drive flash drive etc. Press enter then select your option. It's, I'm just gonna go with one. It's gonna format the whole driver and the one what entire hard drive is going to be dedicated to the operating system? It just tells you. <coughs> and you select the drive to install from. And you select the drive to install to. And it takes a second to install. It's finished installs. Installing, you press enter. You exit. And then I'm going to go F. I'm going to go 8 to power off so I can unmount the drive from VirtualBox. But you could just take out the CD and hit 7. Yes. Now I've got to get out of this. Oh, hello. Aha! Aha. I'm still haven't perf perfected using the full screen thing yet. Uh, okay. You could also change your boot pr preferences on your BIOS. So it just boots from hard drive instead of the going through all them. Just turn them off. So it just boots from hard drive a little faster. And then you want to restart the computer once you're taking the CD out. We can full screen mode. Seconds to boot up. And 
just let it go, it will go by itself into the default bit slow because I'm recording and it uses a bit more processing power to record and almost done. Okay once you've had it all installed it's boot up it'll have a default IP address of 192.168.1.250 and the IP version 6, so I'm not going to go into because it's fucking long. Okay, I'm going to sign interface just to make sure it's all done properly. Um, yep. None. Yes. Just take a couple of seconds. <sighs> okay. Now I'm going to set the IP address. Do you want to use no? DHCP is used by routers, by some internet routers, to set IP addresses to the computers connecting to them. It's also used by some servers. But I'm going to set my own. Okay, leave that at 24. Your default gateway would be your router. and just get auto configuration for IPv6 this will just take a couple of seconds sure I can ping my machine. Yep, we can ping. So just get enter. And then I want to 